Cloud base, 310 feet. Runway visual range, 1,000 meters. Ikeo, category one. Visibility is low. We're coming in to land. The pilot is using manual control for the approach and landing. The lower limit of category one is generally accepted in Britain as an operational minimum for manually controlled landings. Visual contact. The pilot now has about 12 seconds to make any lateral corrections before starting the flare. The numbers indicate the wheel height of the aircraft in feet. Cloud base 160 feet, runway visual range 700 meters, near the upper limits of Ikeo category 2. Conditions are getting worse on this second test run. One of a series planned and filmed by the Blind Landing Experimental Unit of the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Bedford to gain information on pilot and equipment efficiencies during low visibility landing operations. Another manual approach and landing. The pilot effects lateral corrections once visual contact has been established. Cloud base 130 feet, runway visual range 400 meters, near the lower limits of Ikeo category 2. For our flight, manual control throughout. But currently some civil aircraft operators are attempting to reduce operating minima to this category, using an instrument approach with manual control for the last 100 feet. But the risk is high, as many as one in four of the attempted landings may have to be abandoned. Visual contact, just below the cloud base and very little time for lateral corrections before starting the flare. Cloud base 60 feet, runway visual range 200 meters, category 3A. Conditions are even worse. The pilot must rely on automatic approach and landing procedures. In low visibility, the pilot is dependent on instruments and systems now being devised and developed by British industry, backed up by the most advanced research. A glimpse of the final approach lights. But the first useful visual contact, the white painted threshold markings, more definable than the lights in daytime fogs. Category 3B corresponds to a minimum runway visual range of 50 meters. For civil aircraft to be able to operate regularly and safely in such conditions, Britain believes fully automatic blind landing systems are essential. And by developing, testing and proving failure survival systems in which any single failure does not affect the performance of the system. The aim is a safety target for all weather operations of less than one fatal accident in 10 million landings by 1970.
Category 1, an approach in shallow, patchy fog during the formation period. The visual segment, the length of lighting bounded by the cockpit cutoff and the most distant light visible to the pilot, is large, about 3,500 feet at a wheel height of 280 feet. In addition to experimental flights by day, a series of test runs planned by the Blind Landing Experimental Unit of RAE Bedford are giving valuable information on pilot and equipment efficiencies during low visibility landing operations by night. Category 3B, runway visual range 150 meters. In such conditions of shallow and patchy fog, the pilot can make visual contact early in the approach and he could assume he will have a large visual segment to touch down. Four crossbars are still visible at a wheel height of 250 feet. However, as the aircraft approaches the fog top, the visual segment shortens and at 150 feet, barely 500 feet of approach lighting is visible. Entering the fog top, the visual segment further decreases until momentarily at 70 feet, no lighting is visible. As the flare progresses, the runway lighting again becomes visible. Category 3B, runway visual range, again 150 meters. But the fog is deeper, and because of this, the visual sequence experienced by the pilot is different. The first visual contact is established at 170 feet, but only brief glimpses of the lights are seen down to 70 feet. Contact is momentarily lost until the runway lights are again visible at 40 feet. The remaining two test runs are studying conditions of shallow patchy fog and deeper fog for a runway visual range of 90 meters. Again, after early visual contact, the visual segment shrinks and disappears. Contact is not re-established until the aircraft crosses the threshold. Runway visual range 90 meters near the lower limit of category 3B and with conditions of deeper fog. This filmed sequence of tests has enabled pilots to experience the different visual sequences associated with different fog conditions. BLEU have taken another step forward in their program to obtain information essential for all weather operations. 